Good morning, friends. I am Professor Manokar uh, from Chennai. Today, I am here to discuss uh, a few relevant aspects about uh, COVID-19 and hypertensive patients. Uh, we all know that hypertension is the world's commonest uh, endemic disease, and uh, in terms of uh, prevalence. And uh, today, COVID is the probably the biggest pandemic that uh, we have faced in our lifetime. So, obviously, to both of thing, these th two things. I have a relationship and it matters and how it matters is what I am going to discuss today. Uh, hypertension is important because it is probably one of the commonest comorbidities seen in patients having poorer outcomes in COVID infected patients. So it is important that hypertensive patients take extra precautions to avoid COVID infection and at the same time also take care in case they develop a COVID infection. So three relevant points that I would like to stress upon today. Number one, drugs. Every patient who is uh, on hypertensive drugs should continue to take all their antihypertensive irrespective of uh, the other issues, lockdown and anything. So they are going to take their medications uh, without any stoppage. Uh, special concern is about people who are taking a group of drugs called ACE inhibitors and ARBs. ACE inhibitors are drugs like enalapril, ramipril, lisinopril and ARBs are drugs like elmisartan, losartan, ulmisartan, valsartan. These group of drugs were initially, there was a concern that these drugs may increase the incidence of infection with, of COVID-19. All these controversies have been laid to rest. If you are taking this medication, please continue to take them. All the health societies across the world endorse you to continue to take these drugs indefinitely. Number two, uh, patients who are hypertensive need to take uh, uh, have salt restriction in their diet, but there is no restriction on fluid intake. So people unless they have extensive heart disease or people have kidney disease where they are asked to restrict fluids. Most of the other hypertensive patients should continue to take plenty of fluids, liberal intake of fluid to help them overcome the viral infection when they develop it. Point number three is patients uh, with respect to chloroquine prophylaxis, uh, whether hypertensive patients can take chloroquine prophylaxis, the answer is yes, it is pretty safe for hypertensive patients to take it. Whether they will benefit by it is a matter of deep uh, you know, debate and controversy. Many people uh, debate its efficacy, its role in asymptomatic people and whether it may be beneficial in the long run. But that is to be decided by, by the your healthcare provider. But if you ask me, is it safe? Yes, it is safe to take unless you have extensive heart disease or you have retinopathy where the uh, hydroxychloroquine may be detrimental. Other patients should continue to take hydroxychloroquine for prophylaxis if deemed appropriate. The fourth issue is cholesterol lowering drugs. There are some concerns that cholesterol lowering drugs will uh, aggravate the symptoms of COVID-19. So in case you are taking high dose of cholesterol lowering drugs like statins, it may be prudent to, to stop them in case you develop an infection and uh, withhold them for two to three weeks till you recover from the symptoms. Thank you.